So, my plan is to build a small miniature set and then film an actor on a green screen, basically myself, and composite that into it with the same lighting so that it actually looks good. And that's going to be the test if that can look good and if it could be passable for a feature film or something like that. My idea is to have one light overhead hanging from up there on the balcony, pointing down and then match that lighting in the small miniature set. This is where I'm going to film the shot, which means that the guy is going to have to walk through here and then he's going to be in shadow while he's in some kind of tunnel and then come out into a larger space and that's when the light from overhead is going to come out down and hit him. This as a set is that you actually don't get that much of a perspective and that much of an interesting shot so I'm gonna have to make this bigger. So I think I want to actually cut a hole in the top as though it's like one of those ladders that goes up to a sewer entrance. I picked up this concrete cement pigment stuff and I hope, I'm hoping that it will give this stuff some kind of texture so it looks actually real. Here we have our super janky green screen setup, and the reason that it's really janky is because it has to be super tall because this is a super low shot. The next part is going to be getting the overhead light. Now once we turn off a few lights, that's basically our shot. Once I got to the editing the stage, I realized that the light bounced off the green screen and back towards me, which gave me a green rim, which made it really hard to key. I did my best and came out with an okay image, but the black and white version probably looks a little more convincing. Uh, the best part of this is when I step into the light, that's when it feels most like I'm interacting with the environment and I'm actually in the shot. But uh, as my friend Abram pointed out, you can see paint streaks on what's supposed to be a dream pipe above, so all the detail for the modeling needs to get better for this to be more convincing. I think another thing that would probably help is a little bit of camera movement. Overall, I think there's potential here. It's a good experiment and something I want to look into more, especially with trying to figure out a way to make some kind of sci-fi film on a budget. So. If you're interested in this kind of thing, definitely subscribe because I'm going to be doing more of it. Merry Christmas!